the new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Mabuhay and welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms a community that sees and shares everything new. I am King Gonzalez and you guys are watching the sixth episode of the fifth season of Realty Realities. A good Saturday afternoon to everybody. Hello to the viewers of Realty Realities. You know, but before we proceed with our guest, I know you guys are wondering, bakit iba na naman ang set ni King Gonzalez? It's because we are here at the 50th store of Popeyes. Yes, thank you Popeyes for playing host to this afternoon's episode. At maraming salamat for this bucket of chicken. I'm pretty sure um, you guys are excited as I am to taste Popeye's because it's battered chicken and then it's crispy as you would want it to be. So visit any of the Popeye's store that you have. It's all in the malls. And like what I've mentioned, this is the 50th store. It's something that you should visit because it's the more, it's the most spacious of all the stores of Popeyes at makita nyo naman, maluwag dito ngayon. Kasi we are shooting this um, not on a lunchtime, right? So we expect you to be here or any of the Popeyes stores, right? We'd like to thank also our sponsors for being there. Um, Vista Residences has been around for the last four seasons and their condominiums are always located where you want it to be. If you have a son or a daughter who's studying in Ateneo, then there's a vista, not just one, but three vistas right across the street. If you have a son or daughter who's also studying in De La Salle, in UST, we're pretty sure that there's a vista very, very near. Na hindi na sila kailangan mag-drive. Okay? And where do you get your vista residence condominiums from? You can get it from the Core Global Brokers Division, which will flash later on our screens as to their contact numbers. We'd also like to thank Q Bags by Kenby for their artisan bags from Marikina na napakaganda naman. Kahapon lang, nagpost ako about it and somebody already said, where do we get it from? Well, it's easy. You just go to their Facebook page and contact Miss Kenby Pangilinan mismo the famous actress, 
and she will personally handle your orders. Okay, what do we have this Saturday afternoon? Hmm. Hmm. Alam nyo, maraming nagtatanong sa akin na, King, is it wise to post our listings in the likes of Oh My Home, uh, Lemudi, Poplar, or dun sa mga hindi ko pa nabanggit, probably our guest will also mention their names, in, in promoting their properties, their listings. And I would say, well, it really depends on how you do your marketing, okay? But I, for one, make use of these sites, right? And is it effective? Mm, I'm not going to answer that. I'm definitely not going to answer that because we have somebody today who is the best person to talk to us about prop tech to use or not to use. Why? And who is he? He is up. Oh, it's not the name yet. He used to be the country sales head of Oh My Home, which is one of the newest, but the one of the best prop tech sites here in the Philippines and in Asia as well. But right now, he is the vice president of Imperial Homes, which is a, a property developer. Also, he is a real estate broker, an appraiser, and a consultant. Let's all please welcome Mr. Kenneth Trebo. Hi, King. Hi, thank you. And thank you for inviting me. And of course, to all the viewers, magandang hapon. Oh, meron pa ako hindi na banggit eh. Eh, kasi gusto ko makita yung reaction mo rin. Yes. Kasi in one of my scouts, this magazine called Realist. Your real estate man said okay. that Mr. Kenneth Trobo is a beacon of excellence in the real estate industry. At yan ang dahilan kung bakit nandito siya. Yeah. I, I think uh, Realist, it's a magazine owned by a brokerage company mm -hmm. in Central Luzon. Mm -hmm. And they're also developing a property company, which I'm also helping them. Oh, okay. To... Develop it faster so they can launch it this year. Right. So right. Well, later I can mention their name. So, yeah, yeah, so all yeah. of the viewers will have an idea oh. that there is this game changing platform that will somehow disrupt the sales and marketing services nowadays. Nowadays. Yeah. Right, right. Um well, pero bago yon, sir. No, I, I think our warm-up question is always in place just to okay. warm up to people. And for people to know, ano ba yung background, Mr. Kenneth? How did you start your real estate? Okay. And when? When was that? Well, I started uh, my real estate career way back 2013. So really by accident. So I'm working in a financial institution. And then I have this client, uh, the president of the school in London. And then I saw a signage. Nakita ko may BS in real estate management. So I got curious. What is that? May ganun pa lang course. May ganun pa lang course. Sabi ko, ah, okay. Meron pa lang real estate management na course. And then, while talking to the president or the owner of this, sabi niya, it's a very lucrative profession. Mm -hmm. So, right now, the qualification for you to take the exam is take a review. Yes. So, that yes. was 2013. Yes. After a couple weeks, I did my homework and then immediately I enrolled. And unfortunately, I passed the exam for... The broker, and uh -huh. after that, I immediately took the operator's exam. Ang lang pili na pasa ko rin siya. Right. So okay. I think then uh, ako na nagsimula. So from being a marketing officer of a financial institution, nagkaroon ako ng client na nagintroduce sa akin ng real estate profession. And after that, I started my career as an agent in a publicly listed company. And, and siguro sir. Malamang, doon nyo rin nakuha yung mga first clients nyo doon sa pagiging marketing officer of the financial institution. Eh? So, yeah, although it's a different segment. However, kasi province yun eh. Oh, then I transferred here in Manila hoping na, of course, I think this is the best uh, setup for me. The best area for me to practice the profession. Right. So I started selling high-end projects. 
Mm-hmm. So, okay pa pangalanan yung mga ano, <laughs> yung yung Ayala ba yan na, Ayala na, na baka pwede namin maging sponsor <laughs> next season? Yeah, no, for sure. Man, sir. Yes, yes. Yeah, I started working with Ayala Land Premier and I stayed there for five years. Like All right. Father. So, I think uh, it's doon nag-start. So, kung ano yung ginagawa ko ngayon, the foundation of it is my training in Ayala Land. All right, all right. Yung nangyari. Right, right, right. And then after, after Ayala, yeah, Probably to fast forward it, yeah. you you um you worked at oh my home. Yeah. So after I got premier, I was <clears throat> I got an opportunity to lead a sales division. Yeah. In another publicly listed company. Okay. And then after that, uh, I used to work in a commercial real estate brokerage company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And those are conventional uh, types of real estate practice. And then during pandemic, there was this one company. it's very due to my. Uh, it, It's not familiar to me kasi, ano siya eh, hindi siya Philippine-based. So, ang nangyari sa akin na uh, parang sila, I entertained the interview. Right. And after that, yun, uh, kung ginawa nila parang head of sales for head of sales. Right. right. So, as you mentioned, uh, it's a prop tech company based in Singapore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, that started my interest working uh, in different prop tech companies. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Kasi, Right before, uh, yung past experience ko is more on traditional. Yeah. yeah. It's the traditional way of selling, traditional uh-huh. way of doing the works, uh-huh. even yung mga documentation. So, nasanay tayo doon. So, it's not easy for me to adapt. Uh-huh. Kaya sabi ko, uh, this is uh, very new to me. Given Microsoft Word, hindi namin ginagamit. <laughs> so, uh, I remember this game. Parang sabi ko sa boss ko, boss, is it okay to request for a license for Microsoft Word? Kenneth, we're not using Microsoft anymore. All of us. Our systems here are cloud-based. Yes, cloud-based. Like, 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 right. old school. Right. So that yeah. moment, I said, okay, I'm very old school. I'm not late. Uh-huh. 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 But of course, I need to study. I need to learn. I need to adapt. So I studied everything. What else do I For me to, of course, to uh-huh. For me to excel in the profession, uh, in my job. Sorry. So ayun. then after that, After working in a prop tech company right now, I'm working in a prop tech developer. Oh, it's, okay, okay. Mm. What, what, what do you mean by prop tech? I, I will get to, to mm. there, no? Why, what, what is a prop, prop tech developer? Pero, alam nyo, not so many of our audience, because okay. we also have audience who are agents, they're also businessmen, investors. So, what is prop tech? Okay, to go to simplify it. PropTech uh, is property technology. Mm-hmm. It is the application of technology to streamline the different uh, aspects of the real estate business. Like, for example, um, we use uh, technology to make our jobs in the real estate service easier. Yeah. So, for example, if you are into buying and selling, we have a platform that is uh, helpful to make our buying and selling experience seamless. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. for example, there are PropTech companies related to finance or related to payments. Of course, their purpose is also the same. Yeah. It is easier to make payments easier, to make uh, loans easier, yeah. to make everything easier in what we are doing. Uh-huh. So basically, PropTech is, as I've mentioned, it is the application of information technology uh-huh. in our uh-huh. practice. Uh-huh. So, ganun lang siya kasi. So, hindi lang ano, kasi most, most of us brokers know of these prop techs because that is where we post our use things. Yeah. But what you're saying now is prop, that's one of it. Pero mm-hmm. prop tech is also the thing that finance, uh, probably the finance side of the developers also yes, use. that's right. No? So, most of us, parang we have this notion that once we say prop tech, these are the likes of the Moodya, okay, okay, the okay. Coupler, oh, which, are which is what I said during the, the introduction, yeah. right? But to give them an idea, it is, uh, yung mga ganun, those are online marketplaces. They are okay. prop tech companies. Okay. Okay. And what they are trying to do is to help us market our things. Right, right. right. Our properties. But there are other companies which is uh, related to different kind of services. Like okay. For payment, There are property companies helping us to make loans easier. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. For example, uh-huh. kasi diba, may mga the usual or the conventional way of applying loan. Right. For yes. brokers, parang punta ka sa bank, you fill out the form to get the credit and, and uh-huh. then you will refer. Uh-huh. Iisa-isahin mo yun, bank by bank. So right now, there is this one property company in the Philippines, which is, is an application lang. And then 
after submitting, lahat din nakapil sa lahat box. And it will be uh, parang the AI power of that uh, software will help you determine saan yung pinaka mag best bid. Right. So, right. ano yung best loan for you? Like, parang they are going to narrow it down to three options. Yeah. Ito yung yeah. Be, like best interest, ito yung payment plan. Anyway, you know, that's the concept of it. We, we don't mind you mentioning because some of our viewers might have an interest, you know. Okay. So that's the curiosity. I'll just mention Masters it. Nila. Anong, anong, uh, ano yun? The software or the platform is called Matchlet. Man. So it is owned by uh, also a good friend of mine also, Kevin Gario. So kung nagahanap ka ng best loan yeah. for a property that you're buying, mm -hmm. you can go to Matchmo. Matchmo. Nice. Right. nice. So it's a loan brokerage platform. Or right. a property right. company. So basically that's it. So parang, diba, there are companies related to digital signatures. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's not really a property company. However, uh, he's serving the property industry. Okay. So it can be categorized as a property company. But what's that? Because it's digital signature. Because there are many OFW buyers of hmm. condominiums here in the sa Philippines. Yeah. They can make use of that service yes. know, for their signature. Because uh, so. I think uh, it's approved already by some government agencies. Right? Okay. Hindi na kailangan yung web signature because those uh -huh. signatures parang it is powered by blockchain. Okay. So it's totally okay. encrypted and cannot be stolen or it cannot be mm -hmm. uh, forged by anyone. So it is being accepted right now. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. everything is being automated. It is making our jobs easier because of these prop -like technologies. So, ang worry kasi ng iba, parang, are, we, are they going to replace humans? Diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parang yeah. yan ang question nila. But parang think, sa robot yan, pati sa AI. Eh. So, I think it's a wrong uh, notion eh. Kasi, you will be replaced siguro by humans who are using PropTech. Who are using this type of uh, software or technologies. Kaya kung hindi ka pa aware dito, it is somehow, siguro it is something that you should consider like, devoting an hour a day to study about these technologies, yeah. especially if you are a real estate service practitioner. Akala ko sasabihin mo, sir, uh, you will be replaced by a human who is better and more efficient than you are. <laughs> Yun yung fear. Yun yung <laughs> legit na fear. But also, nadagdagan, kasi sa akin ni Sir Kenneth, mm -hmm. you will be replaced by a human who knows PropTech yes. and its applications. Tama. Yes. Tama. So you know, you're making advantage. So, uh -huh. Because PropTech is making us a superhuman. It's making our job easier. It's making our job faster. It's making our job more efficient. So that's the beauty of it. Okay, see, yes, sir. Just, just for application sake, you mentioned that your company right now mm -hmm. uses PropTech. So in, in what ways naman siya na apply? Yeah, so we are the first uh, development company in the Philippines uh, that uses Conovate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are the only one using this technology. It's a Danish technology. Mm -hmm. We're in. We are making panels, which is mold resistant, earthquake resistant, fireproof, anti-proof. So it's very durable panel. Right. So usually the houses in the Philippines, uh, they are about three thousand five hundred to five thousand psi. Yeah, that's yeah. the parang yeah. durability yeah. structure. But in our company, we are using fourteen thousand psi. So you can imagine how durable our panel is. And you can imagine how strong our structure is, our house. Uh -huh. So because of this technology that we are using from Denmark. And then at the same time, in speed, yeah, making yeah, the yeah. panels. Para, yeah. I mean, like, like, parang Lego. Yeah. You are forming a parang pick of, of Lego. Uh -huh. parang bahay. So instead of the conventional time frame, which uh -huh. is three months, okay. then it all, okay. we can shorten the period of building houses. Like so example, you're saying now that PropTech isn't just about computers, yeah. but it's also the technology in construction of these development. Yes, it is a property tech because it's related to the property. Right. So right. basically, we are using uh, this high-performance uh, concrete panel to ensure that our home buyers are safe. They have yeah. peace of mind while uh -huh. they are sleeping. Uh -huh. At the same time, we can easily build their houses. Uh, compared dun sa parang six months and matagal. Mm -hmm. So dito in less than uh, six months, we can build your house. Na nandito ka na naman, sir. Eh. The, saan ba itong houses na ito? Yeah, so uh, in six months, tapos na. Yeah, we have projects in Tresemartres. We have in Padre Garcia. 
we also have a stake in sila sa condominium. It's the first mm -hmm. solar powered condominium in Silang Cavite. And actually, nationwide the context na We have in Bingol. Soon we will be having a project in Davao and of course in the Gaspi. So oh, watch yeah. out for that. So this is very exciting because I imagine a community and then most of the residents there pinapakita nila yung electric bill nila almost zero. Yeah. Because aside from the yeah. condo based structure, all of our houses are solar. Uh -huh. So we are harnessing the power of the sun. We yeah. are using it to we are promoting renewable energy. So hindi siya basta-basta lang bahay. So it gives you the advantage of living na walang baka di electric bill at the same time so that you buy the bahay. So that's the advantage of I think getting a house. Nice. Nice. And this company is owned by Emma Imperial. My yeah, family yeah. boss okay. Emma, okay. watching. And Ms. Emma Imperial is the chair lady of Top Tech on Social Media. Yes. Oh, so okay. that's okay. why in our okay. company we are right. very passionate in automating everything. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. from construction, from the loan process, mm -hmm. we have this uh, application right now, and we are automating the loan application mm -hmm. to pay down from the giving. So, everything is being automated. May hirap lang mag adapt sa way. Kasi, hindi tayo sana yun. Siyempre, we have employees na parang nasanay sa manual. Even me, ako mismo, uh -huh. hindi pa naman ganun ka. Ano, pero... Ginabati eh, namin yung mga agents, yung mga uh -huh. brokers na old school dyan. Baka lang, uh -huh. we don't have a choice kasi we are, may iging irrelevant tayo in the business if you're not going to right. adapt to, to these changes. Uh, mga gantong technology. Mm -hmm. We need to adapt. We need to learn how to maximize those technologies. Right. I think we should have something in this show um, care of uh, our co-broker Nick Slanas to talk to us about these uh, marketing tools or not just marketing tools but okay. organizing tools for brokers para dun sa mga broker friends naman natin naayos yung mga listings nila kung hindi man sila magpunta dun sa mga marketing tools yes. and speaking of those sites mm -hmm. yan na nga binanggit mo kanina yung mga marketing sites uh, na prospect Diba? Kasi, um, yun niya eh. People have been asking, King, ano ba? Dapat ba akong mag-subscribe <laughs> dyan sa mga... Hindi naman kita papahama. Okay, okay. Hindi naman kita papahama. Hindi naman kita Pero, ano ba sa palagay mo ang effect ng mga marketing sites? Di i-term it marketing sites. Yeah, I get marketing sites. Property market Pro places. Okay, property marketplaces like the ones that we mentioned. Oh, my home. Hi, guys. Lemudi and, and the others. The uh, Huffler. Anong, anong sentimiento mo? At anong, probably based on personal experience also. I can share mine later. Okay. Well, for me, those platforms were created to help us. Yeah. To ensure that we can promote our listings. Mm -hmm. Now, I so, nagagawa naman nila. Yeah. So, pag pinausap ko kasi yung mga maraming brokers, all of them will have different moments, different experiences. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Of course, different uh, bias. Right. Yun right. yung mga yan. Right. However, in my observation, I think all of those platforms are helpful. Right. All of those are uh, working. They are serving uh, yeah. its purpose. However, nagkaka-problem lang sa minsan sa credit card. Uh -huh. Okay. Kasi okay. alam mo yun, okay. I can pay the premium account. I can subscribe uh -huh. using a premium account. Uh -huh. So I can generate a lot of leads. The problem right now is do I have the capacity to close? Diba? So, okay. And okay. I think we should consider uh -huh. uh, those kind of ano, parang aspect na ang dami ko kasi naririnig eh. Ah, nag-subscribe ako dyan, nag-subscribe ako dyan. Uh -huh. Pero wala naman ako nakalabas. Right. right. And being in the sales uh, profession for quite some time, and as a leader, di ba? Yeah. Nakita ko na yan. Diba? Yeah. We, are yeah. Generating, we are generating a lot of leads for our agent. Right. Quality leads, mm -hmm. qualified leads. Pero pag nandiyan dyan na yung leads, natrabaho nyo ba talaga? Tinatrabaho nyo nga, are you doing the right thing? Kung baga, tama ba yung conversation? How excited are you every time you are talking to my client? So, my observation, parang pag walang leads, nagahanap. 
Tapos ngayon, pag binigyan mo ng lead, sobrang dami. Di at in the leaders, it, it's unlimited. Parang gano'n yung nangyayari. Parang, so, yeah. Yung parang ano yun eh, parang biyaya na ipinagkalog sa atin ng Diyos. Exactly. Minsan, nandiyan na yan eh, nasa kapagkainan mo na. Yeah. Pero hindi mo na-appreciate. Mm-hmm. Diba? Tapos nag-rabasang ka pa rin, Lord, nasa niya ba? Nandiyan na eh, nandiyan na yung needs na binigay. Kailangan mo na lang maasikaso. Tama ba sir? That is correct. So, going back to the question, yes, you should subscribe. Yes, you should then, subscribe. Uh, especially if you have the much yeah. kasi uh, siguro sa mga first timers I think this is very helpful especially those who are just starting in the business so this is I think this is the best way right now for you to generate mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like before you just need to buy to lift the thing you do uh, newspaper inserts you're doing that when I was an Asia but right now ano ba na magbayad ako ng ganitong amount and then my listing will be viewed by people. So, may equate ko na rin, sir, yan eh. Kasi kung dati, nung mga kapanahonan ng mga magulang natin, they advertise on the newspaper, yeah. on, on magazines, in order to get their word out as to their listings. This is now it. Right? Ito yung best tool for them to reach out to their audience because yes. people go through this site. Diba? That is correct. Kasi, so, in short, it's okay to subscribe, but make sure you follow the tips and suggestions na binibigay ng mga property platforms na yun. Mm-hmm. Definitely, mm-hmm. they have guidelines on how you can maximize your subscription. Mm-hmm. So, for example, hindi siya basta-basta nag-post ka ng picture, naglagay ka ng caption na kinabi-place mo lang from other uh, posts. Mm-hmm. So, alam mo yun, there is a part every time you are selling. So, just by posting your listing in the platforms, Doon pa lang iniisip na, why I'm the buyer? Ano yung gusto ko makita? Okay. Why I'm okay. the buyer? What type of picture? Yung gusto ko makita dito. That's very nice. Yung mga nice. kailangan. Hindi pwede yung picture ko lang ako. Kasi, ang daming way eh. For you to learn uh, right. 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 And just, how can you do right. that? Right. Healthy photography for real estate agent. You mm. can learn that in a few minutes. Mm. So, why not the whole time study those things? That is really uh, to your subscription. Kasi pag ginawa mo yun, definitely you can expect better results. Yeah. So more, so magandang picture, so magandang review. Yeah. So definitely you can expect more views or more Yeah. Options. Yeah. Ang, ang galing nung binanggit nyo, sir. Kasi um, you should put yourself in the shoes of your prospective buyers. Ano ba ang gusto nilang makita kapag binuksan nila yung available properties in Quezon City. Yeah. Diba? Is it a picture of a madumi? Yeah. O gusto mo, diba, nakasetup na, nakasetup na bahay na maganda? Then definitely, yung nakasetup na bahay na, na maganda. Yeah. Siyempre, ako gusto makita ko ba lang yun. For example, it's uh, a listing being offered by two brokers. And then, nakita ko pareho. Naka- uh, so, I'll check the pictures. Kaya, kaya yung, they might be using different pictures. Mm-hmm. Same property. Right. Hindi na ako sa mga mga kapatuba. So, doon pala, you can already see that this broker has this kind of professional ways. Uh-huh. This uh-huh. broker is devoting uh-huh. time to me to ensure na ako yung pictures. Yeah. The yeah. caption is a little bit regional. Yeah. It's yeah. well-written. Pinag-isipan. Walang blank space. Right. Kasi yung iba kakamadali, post lang ng listing ko. I have 20 listings at the yeah. end. Post. Okay. post nila, lagay, lagay, lagay. Uh-huh. lagay. And then they're expecting na darating yung this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not okay. Okay. Right. So make sure every time you do something, see people negotiate. Right. This right. is my business. This is my. Alam mo yung pretend bakit nene? Right. No koma aso. So make sure you do it Yeah. And make sure you do it well. Better than. Do it better than that. Oh, so so it is it is effective. Lalong lalong na kapag tinanong natin kung sino yung mga top sellers ng Lamudi na inawardan, I'm pretty sure they're gonna say that yes, it is effective, and that's good to ask. Siguro nga in one of our episodes, I would ask these these guys, these women who've been using all these different sites, as to how did you make it effective, as opposed to others who have used these. Pero who were not successful. Meron na na eh. To each his own. And then it's always best to market, di ba? Rather than keeping 
those listings inside your laptop or sa mga old timers natin in your notebooks. Okay. Yes, sir. Any any final words to our viewers of Realty Realities regarding PropTech or regarding the industry right now that you would want to, to share to them? I think my message is just to, for them to start learning on how to use this kind of technology. Because at the end of the day, you know, how to use these technologies, it is, yeah, parang, it is going to be helpful in what you are doing. Nasa, ano mo na yun, kapag time will come that you are going to be thankful to yourself, that you devote the time to the next study. Yeah, yes. Things. It's not easy. Siyempre, eh, it's uncomfortable, parang uncomfortable at first. Eh, yeah. For you to start shifting from being a traditional seller into becoming a, ano mo yun, digital mm -hmm. One. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy. I myself, I had a difficulty in during that transition stage For most of my selling practices were based on the traditional ways of yeah, yeah. best practices, you know, mm -hmm. traditional methods. And then mm -hmm. pandemic, you know, mm -hmm. pandemic hit, right? So we don't have a choice. We need to embrace how to use technologies. Dami naman mga online courses, sir. Dami, so dami. Question na lang ngayon, may time naman. And if you are really serious about your job, you are going to make, make time. sure you are going to make time. So, I mean, you, you don't find time, you make time. Very good and gathering more. Yeah. But you irrelevant. Eh. You will be out of the business. You're not going to study and how to use this property. Kung baga, nasa lead generation tayo, sabay tayo nag-generate ng lead. Ako nasa next client na ako, ikaw, handbook ako rin sa yeah. documentation screens because you cannot automate but what I got from you earlier is not just mas mabilis, but also to be more effective. Like if you're going to post pictures of the property that you're selling, Sabi nga, ganda, ganda ng example. If you have two properties, postings, di ba, of, of uh, the same property, pero mas maganda picture nung isa dun sa mga posts, then definitely I'll be more attracted to to get in touch with the broker of the mas maganda post. Yeah. Right? Kasi it shows the discipline of that. Yeah. Alam mo, parang nga ito, pinagandaan niya. He, do, uh, he or she devoted time to take uh, good picture. Right. I'll choose this one. Dahil sa property, sir, would you like to promote the company and, and its projects right now? Yeah. So you have a floor? If you are interested to buy your dream home, we are here to help you. We have a lot of promos right now. We have seven years to pay. Just imagine for lot only properties, seven years to pay at 0% interest. And that promo is only available on the month of November. You can get in touch with me on Facebook. Type can at trouble. Uh, just hit me a message and I will reply. Do you want to say your contact number, sir? And yeah. then we'll flash it also. Yeah, sure. Um, you can message me at 917 650 So we have uh, properties and cost. So we have in Calabarzon. Yeah. We have in Beagle. We have soon in Mindanao. So we can make you as solar power community accessible to everyone. Right. right. Because every Filipino deserves this kind of And that's the reason why the Realty Realities is here. Also to make it accessible for every Filipino to get pure, unadulterated, fresh content about real estate so that you will learn from it. At dahil dyan, because you made time for us here at the new channel, here at Realty Realities, Nakala mo, display lang, sir. Okay. Sa'yo po ito. Courtesy of our friend from Popeye. Thank you, Popeye. Dahil sinabi mo na ito ang favorito mo, ito po. Ito. For you. Thank you. Thank you, Popeye. Pang one week na ulam ata ko. Ito, <laughs> hindi ito sa'yo. Okay. Sa akin naman ko. So, thank you, Popeye. Thank you, thank you. So that's about the Saturday afternoon we have here at Re Realty Realities. So I hope you guys learned from what property technology is, PropTech, or to use and not to use. And the answer is 
to use. Because change is inevitable. Pag hindi ka nagbago, pag hindi ka bumangon dyan sa kama na tinutulugan mo, patugan ka pa rin, hindi ka asenso. And that's also the same reason why you should use PropTech. Because mapag-iiwanan ka po sa kangungan ng other brokers, other agents, other sellers, other developers who use property technology in their businesses. So thank you very much, Vista Residences, to Core Global Brokers Division, and to Few Bags by Candy for this afternoon's episode. And to you who are watching, goodbye, God bless, and mabuhay po kayong lahat. Ang ubo mabilis lumala, kaya dapat agapan. Dapat New Soul Milk's Advanced Syrup. May two times zinc para ang ubo imbis na lumala, tulungang mabilis mawala. New Soul Milk's Advanced Syrup. Unilabian. Ang 40D, tumutulong patibayan ng vital organs, iwas sakit sa puso, at iba pang sakit.